टेन सेकेंड्स फाइव सेकेंड्स स्टार्ट स आई हैव वेरी ग्रेट प्लेजर इन ब्रिंगिंग फॉरवर्ड दिस बिल बिफोर द हाउस द क्रिएशन ऑफ एन ऑल इंडिया इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ दिस नेचर वॉज फर्स्ट मूटेड बाय वट इज नोन एज द भोर कमेटी इन देयर रिपोर्ट दैट कमेटी टूअर्ड ऑल ओवर इंडिया went into the question of the health services in india the means that provided those health services ways of combating the lack of those services and also how best we could maintain high standards of medical education and thereby promote the scientific knowledge of modern medicine in our own land with all the experience and all the clinical material available to us in our own country in the background of our own country including the villages rather than send a few of our students abroad to go in for further post graduate study now this institute is going to lay primary emphasis on post graduate studies as i have just said it is said that today up till now we have had to depend on scholarships whether governmental or from abroad such as the rockefeller foundation is good enough to give us to send a few chosen representatives of the medical profession to outside countries to get their post graduate studies in the various limbs of the medical profession i have always felt that it would be even much better for us if we could give the same knowledge as these young men and women acquire by going abroad in our own country further if we have an institute of this nature we shall thereby be able to control the standard of education we shall be even able to make changes in the curriculum of our medical education and thereby give not only to this country but also through our country to the world something different something that we from our rare experiences will be able to find as we go along this exploratory path of progress as i have often said it has been one of my cherished dreams that an institute of this nature should come into being and that through it we may be able to serve our own people better 
especially the people who live in our villages our educational institutions have up till now been always located in the cities this is also being located in delhi you may say a city but we are going to have village hospitals when i refer to medical education i refer to modern medical education at the very outset i would like to say that perhaps there might be a little confusion in the minds of some members of this house as there certainly was in the minds of the members of the lok sabha that because this institute is called the all india institute of medical science it should also include science other than modern medicine i have to say that if i had not been given a very large sum of money a million and a quarter pounds by the new zealand government under the colombo plan to start an institute of modern medicine i should probably never have been able to get our government to give me that amount of money to start with this is not a new scheme it has been before both houses because money for it has been budgeted over the last 4 years there have been some delays in starting it but there was no question ever of this institute being anything except one for developing science which are allied to modern medicine now modern medicine includes ever so many science which with the dynamic progress which this science makes are increasing in number every day i go further and say that what modern medicine constitutes today is the sum total of all knowledge gleaned through all the long years lived on this earth as far as we can know and just as i have no doubt that in the old days the arab world called their science yunani that is to say they took it from greece and probably ancient greece and ancient india had contacts too i have no doubt either that modern medicine in the initial stages took a great deal from ayurveda or that science of life as propounded by our ancients but there is no doubt also that ayurveda remained static we should do all in our power now to revive ayurveda and through ayurveda give what it has to give to enrich the broad steam of modern medicine which we have 
accepted as the basic means of giving relief to our people in this country. We cannot in this one vital science go backward or remain static or say that we will not progress with the rest of the world. Even when we were discussing the Red Cross Bill, one member said that it was too modern, it was too western. But surely in the world in which we live, we cannot take everything that is good from every part of the world. We cannot live to ourselves.